if that was the test for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer as Manchester United manager, then he passed with flying colours. Thanks in no small part to David De Gea's unbelievable performance. But that there from Manchester United, away at Spurs, a 1-0 win in what was Solskjaer's hardest game to date, was fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. One of the biggest criticisms that everyone had of Jose Mourinho's Manchester United team is when you, look, when you watched it, it didn't really look like they knew what they were doing. Today, Manchester United went to Wembley with a game plan and we played to it perfectly. Counter-attacking football, exposing the space in behind a high Spurs defence and it worked perfectly. Yes, you know, Harry Kane's finishing was pretty poor. Deli Ali had a few chances as well. De Gea's performance was fantastic, but take nothing away from the Manchester United performance you've just seen there. That was a nerve, a nerve-wrecking last 30 minutes. It really, really was from Manchester United. I was on the edge of my seat, but that was Manchester United. We got the goal in the first half that made the difference. A wonderful finish from Rashford, who is looking nothing short of sensational under Solskjaer. What can you say about that game? You know... We've had Cardiff, we've had Huddersfield, Bournemouth, Reading and Newcastle. And everyone's like, it's only Cardiff. It's only Huddersfield. Well, they can't say that about that game there because Solskjaer was tested. Him and Mike Phelan, Kieran McKenna and Michael Carrick clearly worked on what we just saw there. And it worked brilliantly. Matic sitting quite deep. Herrera and Lingard working almost together in midfield. Pogba playing advanced. And it just worked brilliantly. We were trying to get the balls in behind the whole time. And Spurs were letting us because they were aggressive in their own forward play. But I just can't believe what I've seen, I suppose. You know, for years now, watching Manchester United going into these big games has been painful. Earlier this season, we were absolutely humiliated by Man City. A few weeks later, we've just gone and done that to what has been one of the most consistent and best Premier League teams in the last few years. And under Mauricio Pochettino, the man who is considered the favourite for the full-time Manchester United job in the summer. But Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has just beaten him on his own turf. And he didn't just do it by sneaking a goal, sitting back and booting the ball. Yes, we resorted to that for the last 15 minutes when Romelu Lukaku came on for Anthony Martial. Man United's attacking threat diminished. But that's because United went inward, we went deep, and Solskjaer had the belief that his team could hold that 1-0 lead. Now, David De Gea is the reason we held that 1-0 lead. Let's be honest. You know, that was his best performance of the season by some margin. And Lloris had a very good performance as well. You know, 1-0, but it could have been 2 or 3. United had some big chances. Paul Pogba had some big chances. And another game there where Paul Pogba is a centre of it all for the right reasons. That ball to Rashford was top top, top draw. A sensational pass from Pogba. And just all over the pitch, you know, Phil Jones and Victor Lindelof. A tough game for them to get today there. Son and Kane involved, I think, in 14 goals in their last seven Premier League games. We've just kept a clean sheet against that. I just can't believe how much of a difference we've seen under Solskjaer. I knew that there would be the good feeling factor back and that we would probably smash Cardiff in the first game. But I expected it to sort of dwindle out a little bit. Instead, it's gathering pace with every single game. And that match today was a completely different sort of performance. We went to Spurs with a game plan and we stuck to it. It was a right game plan as well. It wasn't a Jose Mourinho type game plan. Try and nick a 1-0 win. We were the aggressor for the majority of that match the nice, intricate football we were playing between Pop, Lingard, Rashford, Herrera and Matic. They played well as well. Everywhere, across the pitch. Ashley Young and Luke Shaw. Credit to both of them. Good performances as well. David De Gea, obviously man of the match. But Marcus Rashford, let's talk a little bit about Rashford. Because Rashford has become... He already is the number nine, but he really is the number nine in his presence, in everything that the team is doing and geared towards Rashford. He's excelling. And that finish today there, Harry Kane had the exact same finish in the second half. He missed. Marcus Rashford had his big chance in a big game and he took it. That's a big moment for Marcus Rashford. You know, he has been quite wasteful, I suppose, of chances in the last few months. Maybe not, in the, certainly not in the last month or two where his form has been brilliant. But Marcus Rashford's finish there was world class. 
That pass from Pogba was world class. It was that moment that gave United the ability to win that game. And I didn't think we were going to hold out for a clean sheet there. I'll be perfectly honest. Spurs had so many opportunities. But we did. It was grit. It was pure determination from that team. We were running. We were covering the spaces. And it was just a very mature performance. Nerve-wracking. Last 15 minutes were absolutely horrific to watch. It felt inevitable that Spurs would score. But that's because of what I've seen in United in the last few years. We'd lost that ability there to see games out. And Solskjaer has brought that back. That's another thing that he's brought back that we didn't think that we had. We certainly didn't have under Mourinho conceding goals left, right and centre there. But what else can you say? That was the big test for Solskjaer. So far, that was the big, big test. And he passed, I think, with flying colours. It was a completely, it was a tactical performance. United worked on that in the training ground. Phelan and Solskjaer set that team up to play exactly how they did. And it worked perfectly. Three points. We're now level on points with Arsenal. And they were singing just how good Emery's been at the start of the season. They've had a few bad results. All of a sudden, United are level on points and we're in fifth. Top four is, and is, is our ambition this season. And it's absolutely achievable. And what we've seen from United there today, what we've seen from Solskjaer, you know, if between now and the end of the season is the world's longest job interview for Solskjaer, he's shown today that he has the capability to be a top-level manager. It's not just about beating Cardiffs and your Huddersfields and your Bournemouths, Newcastles and Reddings. Solskjaer can mix it with the big boys and beat them away from home. You're not easily, obviously, United's best away perform. Actually, no, maybe Man City, when we, no, we were 2-0 down, but we won 3-2. I don't know. I don't know. I'm absolutely buzzing about what we're seeing at Manchester United. And that today was the cherry on top. Six wins out of six. The first ever manager in Manchester United's history to win his first six games. And the momentum is continuing to build and build and build. Bring it on because football under Solskjaer and United under Solskjaer is a fantastic watch. I'm buzzing. I'm sure you're buzzing too. Who's your man of the match? Let me know in the comments. As always, if you are new to United People's TV, subscribe to the channel. Until the next game.